Jerry here, and uh, we're going to do it again. I've got a DSLR. I've got a resin lapse cable. And I've got resin printers. Let's print something cool. first part of the dragons down let's see what we got here and I'm doing it one-handed again very nice I mixed more uh, some regular old resin that's some clear and have a little bit of gray dump a little whatever in it to get the print done but yeah looks good let me see if I can get it popped off the supports here with one hand off the build plate Grab my trusty old spatula here. Yep, came off that easy. Well, that was good. Make sure I don't get no resin on my phone here. IP set out. Well, that's getting pretty murky. A little sediment in the bottom there. Okay, let's try the supports. Shelly, come on. Very cool. It's an awesome looking dragon. Very nice. Well, get it all cleaned up, scrub it off the toothbrush real good. And uh, get her going, then we'll load up the next uh, batch of parts. Very cool. Come turn the camera off here so I can move on. See how she came out. Very nice, very nice. With no failures. Come out really good. Now let's get them popped off the build plate there and cleaned up. Got another part of the base uh, the dragon done. Another four goes into the base, which we'll be printing next. See how it came out. Yep, flawless. No issues whatsoever ever with Strytech resin. So this anti-cubic uh, proton mono X is printing perfectly. And yes, I need to start printing on my Sonic Mighty 4K too. So I'll be my next set of prints I'll be doing on that one. So need to jump around since I got two mid-sized printers now. Looks good. Let's see if I can pop it off with one hand here. Alrighty, base just got done. Let's see what we got here. Pretty. Wow. Very nice detail. And I've got lots of drain holes in the bottom and places you can't see there, but yeah, that came out good. Let's 
get that off the build plate. Well, I'm all done resin printing. The parts came out amazing, and I hope you like those time lapses. Those are so cool to do now that I have that new uh, resin lapse cord. Anyway, uh, I got Beowulf all done. All the parts are done. I've gr got Grendel's mother and the dragon. I'd like to show you what I got here. So let me switch cameras, and I'll show you a close-up, and then I'll get gluing together, getting everything put together. Here's the head of the dragon. I'm printing in Tech clear resin, and I have some dye in it. And the reason I'm not printing in gray resin is that the clear right now is, I don't know, five, six dollars cheaper than the gray, so I'm going with uh, what's more reasonable. But this has been hollowed out three millimeters thick. It's fairly heavy and substantial, but yeah, it came out really good. It's not really nice. I've got kind of a blue tint to it. Kind of looks like it's turquoise, but it's got some blue dye in it. Here's another part of the body here. And this also has been hollowed out three millimeters thick. And there's my drain holes there, and I got them, as you can see, on that side there. And then the base is also three millimeters thick, hollowed out. Got many drain holes put in it. The horns are small, but I did hollow them. So most of it's hollowed. Came out really nice. And then moving on. This is a likeness of Angelina Jolie. Came out really good. There's nothing obscene about this, just nice shapes and curves. So, and then it's got her two legs, she'll have to glue all that together, but kind of hold them up there and show you how it's gonna go. But yeah, came out really good. And here's her head. That's gonna look so awesome being painted. And then her two parts here to her braids, extremely long. It's got a point on the end. So let's get gluing everything together and uh, we'll see what we got here. We'll be able to glue most of it together. And when I glue, most of the stuff, whenever I do any gluing, I use this uh, 2P10. It's, a, with, uh, it's like a super glue with a spray activator. This has had many, many purposes around your house. And uh, when I used to use this years ago, I was um, putting activator on one side, glue on the other, pushing the part together. But then if you miss a line, it, line it, that's a bad thing because it sticks and it's bonded instantaneously. So now I tend to put glue on both sides, put it together, then I spray the crack. That way I can get it lined up where I want it. So... I didn't show you where I'm at here. Now I'm not going to glue her to the base. Obviously, I got to prime all this and paint it, so the dragon will get painted separately from her, and then I can put her in place after the fact. But that is beautiful. That is a work of art. Awesome, awesome work here. Very nice. And then I've got her hair here. Obviously, I'm not going to put that on yet, but kind of give you an idea here. If I got that at the right angle, I think I do. It's going to kind of come down and whip around, something like that. I might have to look at some pictures here, how that goes, but how that whips around. Might come all the way down low. I'm not really sure. I've got to look that up. But you kind of get the idea. So, but yeah, that's beautiful. Really awesome. And here it is. I threw some gray primer on it. Looks amazing. And she is just setting in place there. She's not glued down to the dragon. But yeah, came out really nice. I got a hole in one of her arms. It's been hollowed and I have to fill some resin on that. I have some seams that fill in there and I have to do some touch-up sanding once the primer is completely cured. And then her tail, her hair, the rest of her hair is right here. And I'm not sure which way it wraps around, but anyway, I'll get it figured out. But yeah, it came out awesome. It's beautiful 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 model so and she'll you know once i get her done i'll paint everything separately and then i'll glue her in place or i may glue her you know she it stands in there i could just set her in place but yeah wonderful model so anyway yeah check out the links below and uh you want to go check this out find out where to get it or anything else that i've talked about the resin lapse cord or 
where I got the, the Shri-Tech resident on Amazon. There'll be an affiliate link down there if you'd like to buy that and help out my channel. But yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and happy resin printing.